Are you simply wearing your clothes, you know, like grabbing something really quick and running out the door? Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you are. Or are you styling your clothes? Thoughtfully choosing impactful details that will really add so much polish and sophistication to your looks. In this video, I want to take some classic fall winter outfit combinations that I know you all are going to reach for again and again and again and show you the simple tweaks that you can make to really add that style, that impact, that polish. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited for this video. We're going to take some basic fall winter outfit combinations, some formulas, and then I'm gonna show you all of the little things that you can do, all those little changes that you can make, very simple and fast by the way, to really elevate your looks. You'll notice the theme and you'll notice some of the changes I make over and over and over again that are quite similar. And that is by design, I just want you to see the patterns, to see the changes so that no matter what combination you're pulling out of your closet, you'll be able to quickly and effortlessly and seamlessly elevate. It'll just become like routine, super fast. Okay, before I dive in, I wanna say a huge thank you to Monica Vinader. For those of you that are regular viewers, you know I've been partnering with Monica Vinader for uh, well over a year. It is a brand that I truly love and appreciate. Our values align, they have an eye towards sustainability, they use recycled gold and silver, they use recycled packaging. You can recycle all their packaging. I love that they use 18 karat gold vermeil with their gold pieces, so they really do stay vibrant and look very luxurious and don't tarnish. They also have modern, current designs that are accessible. What I mean by that is you can really seamlessly wear them each and every day. They'll work for whatever you pull out of your closet, but they still have an impact, which I appreciate. Okay, so let's get started with classic fall outfit combination number one. Jeans and a tee. Jeans and a tee. You guys all grab the jeans and a tee at some point. So let's take that simple combination and really elevate it. So here are your jeans and the tee. I grab some leather sneakers that are right by the door, which is what a lot of us do. We just grab the shoes that are right by the door, <laughs> right? Yeah, and let's elevate. So first thing we're gonna do is tuck in the t-shirt. It is a paper thin ATM tee, so it doesn't add bulk in these jeans. These jeans, by the way, very flattering. I have them in multiple washes. They're by Mother, the Mother Hustler Frey. I love them. This is a really dark wash, almost looks black, but really more like a navy. So after tucking in the tee, I'm adding a waist belt. This is a reversible belt by Valentino. I've had it for a really long time. You could go for a belt that is more like in line with the quiet luxury trend that's happening in fashion right now where there isn't a logo. I happen to still love this belt. I think it's still very on trend and relevant. So it just depends on your style preferences. Next, I want to add the jewelry. And here's where the beautiful Monica Venator pieces come in that I wanted to share with you guys. The first is the Nura Choker Necklace. This necklace is gorgeous. I love that it's a choker, but it also extends to 17 and a half inches. Sometimes chokers can feel like too short for me. So I love that you have that flexibility. It's impactful, but it also will work no matter what other jewelry you're throwing on. And it's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful, classic, elegant piece, very high quality. Monica Vinader, by the way, is giving you guys 20% off when you use the code eBuzzB20. The links in the description box below already have the code embedded, so you don't have to input that code. It will be automatic. But if you wanna get something else on the site, for example, which I would with a 20% off code, you need to use the code eBuzzB20, okay? The earrings are called the Flow Large Hoop Earrings. I love that they have this internal circle, which gives it a little extra you know, something, a little extra design. The bracelet is called the Nira Reef Wide Bangle. What I love about this bangle is that it comes in three sizes, small, medium, large. So I got the small for me with a smaller wrist. Sometimes bangles can be tricky. They can feel really oversized. So I love that it has sizes. I love the size of the bangle itself. Very elegant, very wearable, very accessible, but it adds the pop. And it's easy to get on, easy to get off. I don't wanna monkey around with clasps anymore with my bracelets. It's just too 
time consuming and kind of too much of a pain for me. So I love that this is just a simple like hinge clasp. And then the rings I wanted to show you, the Nura crossover ring. This has 18 karat gold vermeil and all their gold pieces have 18 karat gold vermeil, which makes them very luxurious and also means that they're gonna really stand the test of time and not tarnish. And this ring I've had forever. It's called the Riva Diamond Hoop Ring. I love it. Both of these rings and a lot of the Monica Venator rings will easily and effortlessly go with your wedding bands and engagement rings. I, by the way, my engagement ring is so small on me, I need to get it resized. <laughs> I wear it once in a while when I feel like it's cold outside and I'm feeling slim. <laughs> But for the most part, I don't want to wear it because it, it's so tight on me. It's a size three and a half. I, I need to get it resized. Anyway, in addition to tucking the tee, adding the waist belt, adding the jewelry, I grabbed a Dickie blazer by Veronica Beard. This one already had the Dickie zipped in, which I would recommend to you because it does take a little bit of time to zip in or zip out your Dickies. So having that blazer at the ready with the Dickie that you prefer to wear already zipped into the blazer. I swapped out the white leather sneakers for a pair of Shoots black booties. These have a side zip, pointed toe, really comfortable for heels, I would say, and this adds a little bit more of a sophisticated look, elongates the legs elongates the frame. And then another important detail that sometimes is a throwaway for us is the handbag. And this is where if you are gonna spend a little bit more money, I would. This is a crossbody bag with mixed metal hardware by Chanel. You don't have to go this high end. There are plenty of accessible price points that you could turn to, but I would look to either a consignment store, or shop consignment online, or just plan to invest a little bit more in your handbag because it is something that you're gonna wear each and every day and you want something that really really is gonna add that kind of finishing touch to your look and not have it be just a throwaway. Okay, classic fall outfit combination number two, the sweater and the jeans. How many times do we grab sweater and jeans? All the time. And then I grab my running shoes because those again were the shoes by the door and I'm out the door. Now, there's nothing wrong with this look, it's fine, but we wanna be better than fine. We wanna have that extra spring in our step and that extra confidence to tackle whatever comes our way that day. So, the simple things you can do to elevate this look, you add your jewelry, you add those basic but impactful everyday pieces that you love to wear. So again, I have the same Monica Venator pieces on. By the way, if you're not sure what your jewelry or shoe basics should be, we do have a mini course, $37, which walks you through everything that you'll need. We'll put a link below. I swapped out the running shoes for a pair of lug sole black booties by Steve Madden. So it's still a very casual, very accessible, very wearable pair of shoes. You know, no matter what I'm doing, we're going to kids sporting games or running errands but it just elevates a little bit from the running shoes. Next, I grabbed a scarf. This one's by All Saints. And the simplest, fastest way to tie your scarves, most of them are in the shape of a square. You fold the square into a triangle and then you roll the triangle. You grab the scarf in the middle, pull it around the back of your neck, wrap it around your neck once and you're done. Okay, that's the simplest, easiest way to tie your scarf. It looks chic. And also, if you're chilly, it's functional. It keeps you warm. I have the same crossbody bag. I added a different pair of sunglasses this time. This is a pair by Key, and I would say this style is really kind of the most current sunglass trend that is out there. It's the plastic, more square shape aviator versus like the more classic metal rimmed aviator. These are by Key and they're very accessible in terms of price. And then lastly, a gray and black felt hat. I love hats. I could wear hats all day long, but some of you may not like hats. I think the tweaks still work beautifully without the hat, so it just depends on whether you're a hat person or not. By the way, if you're wondering, like, hey, what do I do with my hat when I go inside to the restaurant or going inside to school, grab something, you can always take your hat off when you're indoors. And in fact, if you're meeting with somebody one-on-one -on -one or with a group, I would because it feels like you're more connected. Whereas when you're wearing the hat, it feels more like separate. I put the hat on, on and off about six times today. My hair's fine. So I don't think you're gonna have to worry too much about your hair if it's the right fit of hat. 
All right, so let's take a look at the before and the after. The before, we've got the sweater, the jeans. These are wide leg high rise jeans with some running shoes. The after, same sweater and jeans, added the scarf, added the sunglasses, the bag, swapped out the shoes, and added the hat. Okay, now we wanna dive into some combinations for those of you who are working in the office. Yay, I don't do that a lot, but I'm just feeling it. I think maybe it's because I've been been watching suits. <laughs> I've had COVID for like two weeks and so I've been watching Suits. It's so good. So, so good. I love the show. Anyway, so your classic fall outfit combination number three is the pair of wide leg high rise black trousers and a sleeveless sweater. This one's very lightweight, has a subtle texture to it. And I put on those lug sole boots I just showed you. Now in this case, the lug sole boots really bring the outfit down. And I'm showing you the outfit with these because this is the pair of boots you're gonna have by the door. And if the weather's a little dicey, you're gonna be like, ah, I'll just throw on my lug sole boots. They're black, it's elongating, it's fine. And it is totally fine. Like, let's be real. But if you wanna elevate, here's what you can do. Swap out those lug sole boots or bring the shoes with you and wear the lug sole boots and swap them out when you get to the office for a pair of more elegant, refined slingback heels. These are by Reese. I love these heels because not only are they super elegant, but they also have an adjustable strap around the heel so your heel doesn't slip out, which I appreciate. I wanted to add some waist definition and some pop, so I took a wide Dior belt and put it just over the waistband of the pants. So this does a couple things. It's creating shape and waist and highlighting waist, but it also is extending the waistband of the pants even higher so your legs look super duper duper long. I love this. I love the look of really long legs like Legs for Days. I threw on a duster black rib cardigan. This one I got during the Nordstrom sale, very affordable. Same black crossbody bag and some square oversized Gucci sunglasses. So again, take a look at the before and it's a sleeveless sweater and you know, wide leg black trousers with black booties. It's all fine, it's all good, but nothing that really makes you sparkle. And I want you to sparkle. <laughs> so to add the style, to add the pop, to add the polish, you swap out your shoes, you grab that crossbody bag, you add a waist belt, you add the cardigan, which by the way, you could also do a blazer, some beautiful jewelry, and the sunglasses. Okay, I wanted to give you another trouser combination. This one is a pair of classic tan trousers with a silky ivory button-down blouse. It's actually what I have on right now. So here it is, the blouse is buttoned up all the way. I have on a cute pair of cap toe, low-heeled shoes, and a pair of pleated tan trousers. These are my favorite daughter. The length is petite, and I still need a little heel with this length. So I would say if you're you know, five, 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 six, you wanna wear them with flats, you should definitely get the petite length. So there's nothing, again, nothing wrong with this. Like if you're just in a rush and this is something you pull out and you feel like, yeah, you know, these are lovely pieces and they're high quality and they look nice together and Camel and Ivory are beautiful together. But how can we take it to another place? How can we make it just stand out a bit more and make you look overall more fashionable, more stylish? So first I'm gonna unbutton the button down shirt so we create more of a V-neckline, highlighting the necklace. You can really see the jewelry. I swapped out the shoes. The cap toe really felt like the contrast was too much and I wanted to add more length to the pants so swapped it out for a pair of mules by Malone Soulier. I added a vest, which is very on trend for the season and also creates shape, waist definition. This one's quite fitted, so that's why it creates that shape. And then over the vest, I put on a Reese textured tailored blazer in a darker brown tone. So I wanted to show you how beautifully all these different tones and textures can work together. Like you could get the matching blazer and there is one and it's a lovely blazer, but why not try mixing some tones and textures to really create more depth to the look, more interest to the look. It's more unexpected. And then I finished it off with the Celine belt bag and a pair of round Chloe sunglasses, also in a neutral tone. I really wanted to keep it all neutral. And I think it looks so elegant and looks thoughtful, intentional, but also effortless at the same time. So again, here you have the before. It's a classic silky ivory button down blouse with pleated trousers and tan. I added the vest, the blazer. I unbuttoned the shirt. I added the collar out 
on top of the jacket, swapped out the shoes, got a structured bag, some really glamorous oversized round sunglasses, and you're done. You're ready to rock at your office. By the way, if you need more tan trouser outfit ideas, I did do a video recently here on YouTube where I shared, I think like six or seven combinations because I know tan trousers can be tricky, especially pleated tan trousers. So definitely, you know, just skim through that one so you can see like, oh, okay, I get it. This combination, this combination, this combination, just store it up right here. Makes, you know, getting dressed easier and it gives you more versatility for the pieces that you do have. I also did a reel on Instagram. So if that's just faster for you, we'll put a link to that one below in the description box and you can take a look at all of those tan trouser outfit combinations. Okay, the next classic combo is a little black dress and a pair of flats. So this little black dress by Steve Madden, very affordable, silky, lightweight. I love that it has the sash and, and really nips in at the waist. I love the length of the skirt of the dress, that it's below the knee. I love the roomy short sleeves. I like that you can open the neckline, again, highlighting jewelry, and then a pair of nude flats. I've had these for a while, I got them in Spain. So. There's nothing wrong with this. Again, it's lovely. How do I elevate? How do I give it more interest? Okay, so first you're thinking, no way can I add the belt because this already has a sash and you're gonna knot the sash and then all of a sudden you got a big bump coming out of your waist. But what I did was I only crossed it once, not knotted it, and then tucked the silky sash into the buttonholes and then added the waist belt on top of it. So it really didn't add any bulk at all, but the waist belt keeps it all neat and tidy and in place. This one is that same wide Dior belt that I showed you before. The dress is open, highlighting the jewelry, so I have on all the same jewelry. I added this really cool faux leather ivory cropped jacket. This one's by Steve Madden. And I swapped out the beige flats for a pair of beige slingbacks. These are by Reese, the same pair as the black ones I showed you before. And I really loved this color with this dress because it's leg lengthening. I wanted to add the illusion of a little bit longer leg versus wearing a black heel, which would kind of cut up, cut up the legs and make your legs look shorter. So I have the same jewelry on again, and then a structured handbag. This one's by Tori Birch that feels very office appropriate and very sophisticated. So let's take a look at the before. You've got a lovely little black dress, short sleeve, below the knee with a pair of beige flats. In the after, same dress, sash tucked in, waist belt over it to add the definition and shape, a little cropped faux leather jacket, structured bag, and some gorgeous sling back shoes. By the way, if you're strategic about your black dress purchases, there are other things that you can do with the black dress I just showed on the blog, how you could wear shirts or sweaters or blouses underneath your little black dress. You can belt them, you can add tights, you can add booties, you can add jackets. You have a lot of options. They are surprisingly versatile and can be real heavy hitters in your wardrobe for sure. All right, let's recap really quickly. The jeans and tee, here's the elevated version. Sweater jeans, here's the elevated version. Black trousers, sweater, here's the elevated version. Tan trousers, button down, here's the elevated version. And then lastly, the little black dress and the more stylish version. So which one was your favorite? Do you see the theme? It's like the same kind of changes over and over and over again. Once you get it, it's gonna make your life so much simpler, so much easier. It's gonna make getting dressed so much faster, so much more fun, right? Because you wanna have a little fun with fashion. The other thing is to make sure like, you know where stuff is, because that can save a lot of time too. Might be time for a good old closet edit. We've done a bunch of those videos. We could put a link to one of our favorites right up here if you need some closet editing tips. Okay, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to Monica Vinader for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to use that code eBuzzby20, 20% 20 off, that's huge, okay? You don't need it for the links in the box, but you might need it for any other piece that you see on the website that you wanna purchase. Thanks so much again. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.